I V M. I want to thank Intel for supporting our show. We're all loving working from home, but let's be honest, there are complications. For example, getting help from IT folks if your PC is down can be challenging because you can't just walk up to them anymore. Well, you'll be happy to hear that I have a solution for you, the Intel vPro platform. The platform comes packed with Intel Active Management technology that lets your IT teams remotely manage your systems and fix the problems without having to go to them. So it means more time getting your work done and less time spent on getting support. Visit intel.in slash more with vPro, that's vPRO, to discover how you can do more of what you want and less of what you don't. If you're listening on the IVM Podcast Android app, click the link that's visible to you now. Hello and welcome to the Habit Coach Podcast, the bite-sized podcast filled with quick and easy actionable habits. Remember, great habits create that awesome life. I am Ashton Doctor, your Habit Coach. And today's fun fact of the day has to do with airports. Did you know that the busiest airport in the world was Chicago O'Hare International Airport? There were 900 and 19,704 takeoffs and landings per year. Now, I did the math so that you don't have to. That turns out to be 105 takeoffs and landings each hour. 105 takeoffs. Now, think about that. That is more than one per minute. Remember back in the day when we used to fly? Oh God, good times. When all we had to do was hop onto a website, purchase a ticket and land up at the airport. And in a few hours, we were transported all over the world. We took it for granted that everything would work perfectly. We did not see the madness that went on behind the scenes to make that whole procedure smooth and effortless. Now, taking a flight is like preparing to go to the moon. With COVID in the air, we have to think 34 times before booking a flight. Pray that they do not cancel the flight. Stand in line for hours as the whole checking procedure starts, even before the check-in procedure starts. Today's podcast was inspired by a conversation I had with Aditi Surana on the podcast earlier this week. I thought that it was such an important idea that I dedicated a whole podcast to it. We were talking about frustration in life. How nowadays people are so triggered by the things around Everything seems like a cause. Everything seems like it's time to pull out your gloves and fight someone. We believe that getting things done a certain way is our birthright. And if things don't happen that way, we have the right to bring the house down. Our fuse seems to be getting shorter and shorter. Frustrations seem to be rising faster and faster. Now, at this point, you can stop and argue that wanting things is not wrong. Expecting things is not wrong. Standing for what you want is not wrong. And I agree, you are absolutely right. But at what cost? You have to ask yourself, at what cost are you doing these things? And very often, it is that cost that is called peace of mind. Our peace of mind is destroyed and that is the cost that we're bearing for all of this. And the reason I started this conversation with airports is that airports are the best place to observe this behavior and work on ourselves. I used to fly four times a week at one point of time and flights would get delayed constantly. And it was so interesting to see people's reaction during that time. They would shout, yell, insist on seeing the manager, shout at that lady at the gate, but I am paying good money. I demand good service. Okay, sure, you must. But at what cost? You see, the reason we behave in such an explosive manner is because we feel entitled. The definition of entitlement is believing oneself to be inherently, inherently deserving of privilege or special treatment. Inherently, that means it is your birthright. The thing with entitlement is that it comes out in many, many different ways. And I'll do lots of podcasts on it because this is a big one. We have to dissect it and get it out of our system. Because entitlement is a problem when it begins to play with our peace of mind. The ego suddenly gets the center stage and it needs to be taken care of. We lose our sense of peace. We lose our sense of calm. And as your habit coach, I am always giving you ways in which you can regain, keep and maintain your peace and calm. And this is so essential if you want to, you know, live that awesome life. 
you have to keep that sense of calm with you always. And a fantastic way of doing this is by pausing and looking at the same thing through the eyes of a child. And I've done a whole podcast on this eyes of a child concept. You must listen to that. You can also express a sense of gratitude for having the ability to take a flight. Imagine years ago taking a ship for a month, throwing up every day or traveling on horseback, which was definitely a pain in the bum. Use wonder and excitement to fight the feeling of entitlement. Imagine you enter this metal tube and a few hours later, you are in a different city. So your simple habit to regain your peace of mind from feeling entitlement is to pause and see the same situation with wonder and amazement. For example, the internet on my farm where I have been staying during this whole lockdown has been very erratic. Every time I caught myself getting angry that it was not working, I would pause and think about how amazing it is to have access to the internet here in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of these trees. I never had it earlier, but now I do. The same way the next time you fly, don't lose your peace of mind. Instead, be amazed at how many things have to happen just correctly for you to be able to just take that flight. If you like this podcast, don't forget to check out other interesting podcasts on the IVM network. You can listen to us on the IVM podcast app or ivmpodcast.com. You can also follow us on social media. We are at IVM Podcasts on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to reach out to me, I am Ashtin Doc on Twitter and Instagram. You can find lots more information on my website, awesome180.com or check out different content on my YouTube channel called AWESOME180. That's Awesome 180. I hope you enjoyed that show. It's been a really fun week this week, as it is almost every week, but this week was particularly fun. Parmesha Honey was on Cyrus Says. Great conversation over there. We had a crossover event. Beneath Kanabar, host of the Storytellers and Storytellers podcast, came on Uncle Please Sit. Really interesting conversation about the future of digital content. Besides that, it was the 50th episode this week of Agla Station Adulthood. Congratulations to Ritash and Ayushi. But yeah, they're 50 episodes down. They had Rekha Ja as the guest on that show. On Advertising is Dead, Varun had the founders of Foxy Moron, Suveer Bajaj and Prateek Gupta on. Another really, really interesting conversation. So full of interesting conversations this week, and I hope to see you again next week. Have you ever wondered how successful people do their thing? How do they navigate the challenges they often face? Are you wondering about the future of restaurants, film, education, technology, and everything else in between? Hi, I'm Gauri Devidyal, best known for being one of the brains behind the table, an award-winning restaurant in Bombay. One thing my life as a restauranter has given me is the opportunity to meet with some truly inspiring people, most often just by chatting with strangers at the community table. And that's what this podcast is about. It's about learning the new dimensions of business and understanding how different people swim this sea. It's an opportunity for me to pick their brains and ask them all the questions on my mind, whether it's about learning from their past experiences or talking about future trends. Through their journeys, stories and insights, I hope you too, like me, will come away inspired and energized. So come, join me every Wednesday with your favorite drink because this round is on me.